do excuse me hello team how are we today i hope i find you all well and good and in good health right what am i up to today well i've listened to you guys and i'm going to paint the barrel the head black so i've started already kitchen i am using this stuff it's absolutely brilliant vht barrel paint i've used this on my cbr i used that on me army deville Absolutely brilliant stuff. Is that? Sorry about that. You had a bit of muck in your face. Remember your mother used to do that to you? Oh, God. Anyway, so I digress. So I've done the rocker cover. That's been done. I'm going to give it another coat in a bit. Now, before I start on the barrel, there's still slight traces in there. Let's get the light on. Still slight traces. And there's a little bit like the dust in that there from the, from the parts cleaner. Dusty, mucky stuff. So I'm just going to, there's no point in chucking paint on it like that, is there? What a waste. So, I mean, that, that's pretty good. Just wants a bit of a, a bit of a going over with a, I don't know, what do you reckon, like a Dremel type thing? Not wanting to plug anything. Oh, look what I found. This little baby is brilliant. You've got your, you got your grinder, you've got your metal polisher, that's soft, it's like a, a whizzy brillo. And on the end you've got this attachment. Uh, and you have all these other little bits and pieces. I have a bag there, all different shapes and sizes on. Look at this, look. Ready? Woohoo! And it's variable speed as well. How flipping snazzy is that? I can't wait. So I'm going to get myself a chair, put myself a chair up, sit down, and have a good old whiz in there. See how clean I can get those fins before I put any paint on. I've had to order another couple of tins of that stuff. Up. That is literally the end of my last tin, hence I've only done a little piece there, luckily. Right, OK, enough waffling. I'd better get on. Uh, look at me shed. Look, there's lots of things ready to go. And Oh, my goodness. I will silver that, and I will silver the front. But lots more prep work to do before I do that. Um, yeah, the downpipes, they're in there somewhere. Look, the exhaust downpipes. I'm going to need to give them a real good polishing because, let's be honest, this, this started out as, as, a, a, as a rescue, didn't it? And I said it was just going to be a oily rag. Let me come in here because I don't know whether the camera's recording properly or not. It was going to be like an oily rag, but you all saw the state of that bike to start with. There wasn't anything on it. Uh, uh, salvageable straight away was it it was a flipping wreck absolute wreck so it, it wasn't a case of okay just chuck an oily rag over it you know put some fuel in it make sure the engine runs and off you go down the road put a couple of new tires in it perhaps you know you saw it it was it was a, a dog wasn't it so it was always a bit more than an oily rag jobby and when you start you know nice shiny wheel rims and getting things looking quite jiffy it kind of escalates doesn't it but the budget hasn't luckily I might add but I'm the kind of guy that I can't how do I put this I can't just rough it do you know what I mean it's the detail I am such a blooming stickler for detail I will do I will spend an hour doing a tiny nut and it, but it's just me, so it's gone from an oily rag, I'm sort of up the ladder a little bit between oily rag and, and really smart. So the bike's going to be pretty good, I think, overall. So, yeah, that's why I'm going into all this much detail with it. Um, yeah, what more can I say? Right, I've bored you enough, I've got lots to do, and I'm sure you guys have. Right, catch you in a few seconds on the next episode. Hi ho, neighbourinos. Uh, where are we? We're on episode four of the engine rebuild, aren't we? I think. Um, what's going on? Well, I've decided to paint the the barrels and the head. Uh, so today I have had a really good go at the barrels, cleaning them properly. Uh, take a look. Let's get some light on the subject. That's about as clean as it could possibly, possibly be. Let's go right round. That's how clean it is. Okay, it's still a little bit on the damp side. 
bit from the cleaning process. So I'm going to get the hot gun on it. And then look at these two babies that just turned up by Mr. Posty. So that's going to be going on there. I will completely mask off uh, both sides. Uh, there's the rocker. That's done. And now I've got to sort of set about doing something with that so I can paint that also. Okay, uh, right, we'll leave it there. I've got the head nuts there. I've just ordered from David Silver. Uh, eight wash, seven wash, well, eight washers, just in case. I know one. I know the coil, the uh, condenser goes under one of them, so you don't need eight. You need seven. But I've ordered eight anyway, just in case I go down the electronic ignition route, uh, and there won't be a condenser there. Right. That said, um, yeah, I also ordered a couple of downpipes because you know what the state of my downpipes are. They're they're pretty uh, pretty scabby, aren't they? Um, they? I mean, they're usable, uh, but they're I've gone a bit further than normally rag now, haven't I? Let's be fair. Let's be honest. Um, everything's been cleaned and polished and to uh, to to an the nth degree. So I am sort of going a little bit upmarket from oily rag, but not concourse, obviously, because I can't. I haven't got millions of pounds to throw at the bike and get it everything pristine. So there we are. Uh, yeah, I am going to spray this uh, VHT silver. The, this uh, the main the main uh, block. Um, and there's the other side panel. That side panel's now on. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for your tips um, about the, uh, how meticulous it is clean inside. Make sure there's no stuff going in that little that crank hole, etc., etc. Blah blah blah. Um, right, I've got some spraying to do. Wish me luck. Well, stone me. That took more time masking up than it's going to take to paint it. Flipping Nora. That was scalpel jobby, round all the detail. <clears throat> Bloomin' Nora, I tell you what, it's a work of art there. Right, let's get some paint on it. Right, that's the first coat on. This hot, this air gun is so hot, so you just keep the air moving around it. This paint is kind of it kind of activates with the heat. It's such I tell you I've I've sprayed many things over the years and this paint I know a bit jokingly sort of plug in things but this is the best aerosol paint I've ever used. This barrel paint I've I've used uh, you know barbecue paint for things like exhaust pipes and whatnot and all that kind of thing I've used proper VHT black from different makers sometimes the nozzles block or they clog up or just spray out and nasty these I've never ever had any trouble with this stuff this barrel paint it is awesome so there we go that's the first coat I'm gonna give it five minutes because it's it's um, sort of autumn now and the nights are getting a bit chilly don't want to let it get cold so I shall go and have a brew and come back and uh, perhaps a bit more heat and then perhaps do one more coat make sure I get right in the fins there and that will go from there cool. Wow I'm actually taking my breath away a little bit that That's pretty darn good. That's pretty cool. Yes, I did mask with this off. I've just literally taken all that off of off of around here. Flipping out, awesome. It's quite a sheen on that, but you can't really see it at the moment. Well, there we go. I mean, that's not bad at all, is it? Uh, Excellent, that's got grubby fingerprints on it. That just needs a bit of a bit of a wipe off of one of me dampy clothies. Right, well, there we go. That's enough for this evening. Um, I'm going to let that go off, give it a bit more hot air. Here's the head. Bad for a beginner, eh? Well at all, eh? I am going to take off the masking tape in a sec. Oh, let's just do it now. Let's do it live. 
I'm not a great believer of. You ask any painter, they say, no, take the masking off when it's wet, don't leave it till it's dry, you'll be in all sorts of trouble. So, following their expert advice, I am going to remove this. And there are, come on, there are the barrels. Roll out the barrows. A little bit more to come off of there. Because I don't want this. This is, again, uh, I'm not teaching you how to suck eggs, boys, because you've probably done this a million more times than I have. But, always use good quality masking tape. Eh? You know what it's like. You nip down the pan shop. It's not bad, is it? Get down the pound shop and you buy the pound stuff and it's absolutely shy, isn't it? Right, gentlemen, that's it for this evening. I think I've done jolly well, don't you? Uh, I think I'll... Should I have a glass of wine? Don't know. Or a beer? Don't know. Anyway, thanks for looking. Uh, what will I be doing next? Oh, yeah, putting it all back together again. Spotty dog, can't wait. Well, good morning, one and all. Uh, where am I at? Uh, I don't know, a bit of a foggy day today. Uh, darts again last night, wasn't it? Anyway, things, uh, time waits for no man, does it? So let's have a look what's going on. As I said in the last bit, that's the engineer ready to go. The head, the block, the barrels even, have turned out rather flipping jolly well. You know, the more prep you put into it, the better the result, isn't it? Anyway, that's that. We'll put that to one side. Today... Concentrating on the head, Rawr, said the lion. Now, I have come to a decision that I will be painting it. So, lots of prep work required. I need to get rid of some of this scabbiness in some of them fins. That's pretty much clean. That's pretty much clean. <sighs> Yeah, I need to see these little puddles of fluid in there and things. It's not bad, and it does, it's not going to need anywhere near as long prep as that flipping thing did, because they were nasty. But there we go, and I've got to get these valves sorted out into the correct gappage. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. That's got the new gasket in there, that's got the new gasket in there, so I'll be leaving them in situ and masking up those what i'm going to do is i have spare a spare one of these so i will put the spare one over there and just spray the hell out of it so it doesn't matter whether that gets covered that's going to stay original i think it looks too nice doesn't it that side not sure i might just spray it yeah i'm just going to spray it okay uh this can't go anywhere near the parts cleaner now obviously because of those rubber seals inside the valve stem seals on the exhaust valves so it's going nowhere near the parts cleaner now um i might get a uh, get a little paintbrush there's my thinners i might get a paintbrush just paintbrush it with the thinners and then airline it and then hot gun it ready to accept some paint the rock covers outside i've just given it another cover another coat and again i can take off this rocker cover off of the other engine that's under there that's uh, that's completely full of water. Did you see that? That was a mess, wasn't it? I might just do a re rebuild video on that one just for a laugh, because it's, if I could bring that back, well, well, we know the state is dead, but there we go. Right, that's enough waffling. I've got lots to do. I need to go and grab myself a coffee first, don't you think? That bleary eyes. Anyway. Let's get on. Right, well I've just gonna I've just wound a couple of M6s into these exhausted holes and it gets a bit gritty a few mil in. So I am using a cutting and tapping compound. I'm just gonna run me my M6 tap in there just to clean them holes out. Then I'm gonna reinstall the these donor screws just in there. So when I spray, nothing's gonna go into those holes and, and clog it up. So there we go, that's what I'm gonna do there. Anyway, a quick uh, a quick thank you, uh, a big thank you actually, for all your comments. Uh, Austin, Dwayne Pipe, uh, Silk, Frank, Mike K, Chuck, Bill, Yamaha, Yama, Honduki. You know what I'm talking about. 
Paul Martin, Chris, uh, Kev Jones, Adrian, Ali, Purple Monkey, I know it's you, Matt, uh, Jeff, Tafferat, Doug Cooper, Brian and Kev, uh, Andy Cousins, and uh, anyone else I've missed out. Anyway, so, right. I better get on. I'm just, I'm just dizzy dathering. I need to get my head in gear and crack on with this. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for your comments. It's awesome, and your tips are just priceless. Thanks again. Right, well, I've just cleaned that thread out there. Look how gorgeous that is now. And I've squirted it. I put the straw from me, uh, me dispersant up the hole and squirted. And look what comes out. All that absolute nastiness. That needs to come out. That doesn't want to be in there, does it? So now I'm going to do that one and remove those two screws and do those two too. I'm cheating a little bit. I've put my, my tap in my drill on a very low speed on a very low uh, clutch setting so you can't get any any snagging on there yeah it's okay doing it with the with the right tool but it just takes too long i'm impatient right i've just come to the uh, donor engine just to you know take a few panels off to put on that head i've taken this cap off of there oh chuffing deer <laughs> Oh my god, that poor engine, I reckon the water's been getting in getting in there over the years, don't you? And then just filling the thing up, that is going to be so nasty in there, isn't it? I think the only thing I'm going to be able to salvage about all this is literally the, the, the cases and that. There we go, anyway, right, time to get on. Uh, well, I got one off there, but this, this didn't go too well. <laughs> so that's pretty much that shot, isn't it? Unless I chisel this off or get it off with the old super duper grips, which I probably could do. Um, or, or either hacksaw and hacksaw just to split that a couple of moons out of it. Right, there we are. So I'm just whipping this, whipping this head off now so I can use this piece as a, as a cover panel to stop the paint going inside. Right! Just took a photo just to remind me where this part goes instead of the washer. Right, oh. Well, I think we have conclusive proof. Uh, even the stud, the nut wouldn't come off the stud, so the whole thing came out. I think we have conclusive proof now that this engine is duh, eh, duh, dead. This is going in the parts cleaner before it goes anywhere near my head because I do not want any of that gump in there falling down into my new head. Oh, lovely. Uh, yeah, these spark plugs, uh, they'll, they'll buff up, won't they? Goodness me, look. <laughs> anyway, what I'm literally doing is I'm going to clean them threads up and I'm going to put them back in the holes on my cylinder head just, just for spraying purposes. That one's going nowhere near. Look, it's, it's even taking the thread out of the head. So that thread is scrap. That head it's taking the aluminium out as I unscrewed it, it just literally fell out. So, uh, yeah, bye bye, little engine. <laughs> right, here we are. I'm literally on the last section now, which is the, the cylinder head. Uh, got my little, my little dremely thing here. What I'm going to do now is literally get rid of all of that nasty crustiness. Let's have a quick go, shall we? Whilst I'm filming. <laughs> That's what I might do now. That's going to take me a good length of time, shall we say. I've masked all this off already. That's all good. I've got the temporary side panel cover on there. That's sorted out. I'm going to um, mask and tape up these four holes. I'm not going to put the old caps on because I only got one off. Uh, I've blocked up all these holes. Uh, I've threaded all these threads, that's all good. Uh, literally got to put the spark plugs in the holes, um, masking tape over these studs, uh, and then we're good to uh, good to do some spraying, aren't we? So, right, okay, I better crack on with this. Uh, it's like pulling teeth, isn't it, really? There you go, it's got to be done. There's no point in just spraying paint over that because as soon as the engine gets hot, 
paint's going to flake off and go bye. So it's all in the detail. The devil is in the detail. Prep, 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 prep. Do it right. Hey. Right, okay, I'm going to crack on. Right, finally, I've dremeled it to death. I have cleaned it. I have scraped it. I have prepped it. Everything is ready for paint. There we go. That's just the old top off the other engine. After a good clean, it took ages. Old spark plugs in there just to cover the hole up. Again, <sighs> everything's masked up to within a millimetre. This is the cam chain adjuster, uh, tensioner adjuster. Yeah, so it's ready to go. I've got these holes plugged in with these screws. So, I am now going to lay down some of this paint. And uh, oh, we'll see what it looks like in a sec, eh? Yeah, I have been shaking the cam for ages. goes on so well this stuff it's very forgiving for idiots like me and the tap the tops that's what I like about the top look at that absolute perfection let's give it a quick lick over quick once over drenching in there. It's getting in between the fins, that's the tough part in my book. Looks a bit Heath Robinson this doesn't it? But there we go. Actually I'm I'm right handed normally at this but I'm holding the phone. So needs must. Never try and do too much with the first sweeps, said Sooty. Nah. Bit of heat gun afterwards. And uh, Bob's your auntie's uncle's mother's son. Looks like I'm putting on loads, but it's just getting in them fins. It's the imperative part, isn't it? I'll give it some heat gun in a minute and then then turn it over and do the underside because you're otherwise you're gonna have bits missing on the underside of the fins. Uh, there we go, pretty much, and give it another couple of coats, heat gun, coat, heat gun, coat, and uh yeah, that's about it really, isn't it? Looks alright. Wow, just a bit of a mock up quickly. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. The amount of hours gone into that is just unbelievable. There we go.
pretty pleased with that. Stick that back on there. Give that a good 24 hours, I think, to dry off. I've done the flanges as well. Um, they were really scabby, weren't they? Do you remember them from the start? Proper skanky. Well, there we go. I am more than happy with that, to be fair. Over the moon. Right, brilliant. Oh, crikey. State of me again. Well, I think it's time for a cuppa. I think so. Uh, yeah. I'm dead chuffed for that. Dead chuffed for that. I think I'll wrap this up for, I think it's episode four. And then uh, episode five, we'll get the whole thing back together and see what it looks like. Okay. Thanks for looking, guys. Uh, like, share, uh, dislike, comment, whatever you like to do. You lot are bonkers. See you later.